What up? I'm Madeline. And I'm Aubrey. And we're going to slide <laughs> into this episode. Um, it doesn't matter if the cup is full or empty of water. It doesn't matter if the cup is full of water or is, it doesn't matter if the cup is half full or half empty. Just be grateful that you have a cup. Um, Gratitude. is being thankful even of the smallest things. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> Attitude, um, appreciation, um, thankfulness. Appreciation. Thanks. Ah. <laughs> Love. 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 Uh, uh, presents. <laughs> I like presents. That one. Um, I'm grateful for gifts. presents. That's the same thing, guys. I mean, not really. Um. <laughs> Thankful, <laughs> appreciative. Um, appreciation. Thanks. Grateful. Thankful. Uh, Thankfulness, um, appreciation, gratefulness. <laughs> uh, thankful, great thankful. Thanksgiving, appreciation, <laughs> Thanksgiving, um, uh, Christmas time, family, um, um, military, your friends, kindness. Yeah, returning T kindness, tenacity. <laughs> Being thankful, grateful, and appreciative. <laughs> Gratitude <laughs> is being thankful. Oh, we're doing it all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, grateful and appreciative. Gratitude is being thankful when you don't have to be. Gratitude to me is being thankful for something or, you know, an opportunity and showing appreciation towards something. To me, gratitude is thankfulness and showing appreciation for the most simple and great things in life. Gratitude is um, being grateful for things that you have in life. Sometimes we take granted for a lot of things. Gratitude, in my opinion, is being thankful for the people that you have in your life. Gratitude to me is being thankful for everything you have and being grateful. I think if you uh, have gratitude as a trait, then you're just more appreciative as a person. You'll be nicer to people, be more kind to people. For gratitude, it kind of like, that comes from your heart. Like, you truly mean like you're thankful for that. Uh, gratitude is you're doing it out of like your own heart, that you want to do it, you, you feel like you should do it, you know. Not everything is guaranteed. And I think that showing thankfulness and giving that recognition towards something, an opportunity or a certain person is pretty important. Gratitude, the quality of being thankful. Readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. It doesn't matter if the cup is half full or half empty, just be grateful you have a cup. I would like to welcome you to my innovative design class where today is my students first day to build with Legos. They've been given the job of building something that will move a soccer ball um, but without any real instructions so they have to come up with that on their own. In here like this and then she's going to swipe the paint back and fill in the holes. Okay, that's good. And we'll swipe it the other way. We have a little bit up the top. Once you set it down, you can't move it. And take that. Now go back over it one more time. Can y'all see that? Real hard. Push it. You got to push it real hard. Nope. One direction only. Okay. Should be good. Now lift it up. I'm going to hold your shirt down. Good job. Like this. Pour a little bit on there. And do you have a swipey thing? 
But you can't use the same one. So, hello, Miss Jones. Hello, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? I'm good, actually. That's great. So, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions? Yes, ma'am. Shoot for it. Okay, so what were some trends that happened during the middle school? Okay, so one trend that happened was when I was in middle school, we used to wear these bracelets, like these animal forming bracelets. Yeah. And I did get the name of them. I forgot the name, but like you put them on this bracelet and then when you take them off, it formed like a horse or a giraffe or some type yeah, of Yeah, those sound so familiar, but I still don't know a name for those. Me either. I just know they were like a really fun color. Yeah, like they colors. were like bright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did you always want to be a teacher or did you have another dream? Actually, I did not know I always wanted to be a teacher, but I've always taught. Like, I've always been into school and always been into helping others. So, school and helping others kind of created a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, could you show us some of your basketball suits? We've heard you had them. Let's do it. Let's do it. I do actually. I have two older sisters and an older brother that all actually graduated from Broken Arrow as well and went oh. to Centennial as well. I also happen to have a bunch of older siblings who also went here. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Awesome. So are you the youngest? Yep. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> um, so what would you do with a million dollars? Oh, goodness. Great question. With a million dollars, um, buy school supplies. <laughs> I really would, though. Buy things to make my classroom more pretty. Yeah, I'd probably do the same with my room at home. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just decorate it with so much fairy lights. That, so okay, so things. either um, room, room supplies or school supplies yeah. or things for my home, home supply. I'd probably do that with a million dollars. And if you could travel in time, where would you go? Hmm, if I could travel in time. The big question I have. I, I don't know where I would go specifically, but if I could travel back or to the future, I would probably travel to the future. That's more fair. Than yeah. than go back and die. There's, there's like some specific areas in the past I'd like to go, mm -hmm. but I don't really think I'd like to go to the future. It just seems like either I get really sad at what has happened, or I would just be spoiled. You would just be spoiled because you already know exactly. what to expect or yeah. what's coming. Okay, that's and fair. What to expect from who. Exactly, and so, yeah. but could you do something in your current to then change it in your present? I mean, theoretically, but that would also like create this weird sort of paradox. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I don't know exactly how that would work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for- Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for letting me ask you this question. Yes, ma'am, you're welcome. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you realize the concept of Einstein's when he took E equals MC squared, then he took, this is very interesting, the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and then when we take the slope-intercept form, which is Y is equal to MX plus B times the quadrant of the Greek alpha beta gamma let's go okay i tap young lady everybody's gone the bell's gone off it's time to go to class let's go Okay, I see. Shout out to Ray, Sage, and Beck for being such great friends. Shout out to Miss Mathis's community. Uh, shout out to Mr. Ennis's community and all my friends.
Huh? Yeah! Hey, do you want to go see what one of our old teachers are doing from last year? Yeah, sure. How about Miss Hines? Yeah. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite holiday is Christmas, and obviously because of all the time we get to spend with our family and all the yummy food, the best. How often do you have to send emails to parents? So I have to send emails to parents. It varies. Sometimes it is every day, multiple times a day, and other times I can not have to email a parent for a few weeks. What's your baby's name? His name's Levi. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for 14 years. This is my seventh year at Broken Arrow. Do you have a flex? If so, what is it? Logic and jigsaw puzzles. Oh no! Oh yeah! Hello, we are here with Miss Fisk, woohoo, my favorite teacher. And we are here to ask her a few questions. So, what made you want to teach math? Um, I've always loved it growing up as a student, and I thought it was a fun way to challenge my mind. It was like a puzzle to me, solving different pieces. That's cool. Um. Do you play any sports like martial arts, something like that? I do. So I am an avid runner, and also I am a black belt in a martial art called Tung Sudo. Don't hurt me, please. Um, <laughs> do you play any instruments? Like, have you ever played an instrument when you were younger? I do. I have pr played a professional clarinet and piano. When's the last time you played the clarinet? Probably a month or two ago, but then I made my daughter cry because she was two years old and it was very, very loud. <laughs> Um, do you have any like hidden talents, something like that? Um, hidden talents? I'm pretty good at math, so I can solve almost any problem you can throw at me. Like Are you double jointed, something like that? Oh, that is true. I am also double jointed. I can do this with my hand. Viewers advisory warning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All the way around. That is scary. <laughs> um, and what is your favorite like movie? My favorite movie, definitely Harry Potter. I am a Harry Potter fan to a T. I like Harry Potter too. And what's your favorite character from Harry Potter? Cerberus Snape. He's cool. such a mean teacher. He is I mean, love though. it. Reminds me of a few teachers I have. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you. Hello class, today we will be talking about dividing fractions. So, the top of the fraction is called the numerator and the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. Thanks for sticking around for this episode. Make sure you
punch that subscribe button and ring that bell. <laughs> that was perfect.